changed in okay all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the golf balling podcast episode number 102 i'm one of your hosts jackson i'm here with my other host sean what's up sean what's up this is actually nick <laughs> And I'm actually nah, I'm Sean. kidding. Uh, I, I am Sean. Nick Nick couldn't join us today. He has a, a dinner reservation with his girlfriend, uh, which is more important than our podcast, apparently. Bro, it's 5.30 at night. It's 4.30 at night. Who eats dinner right now? Well, he, I just don't think you understand the concept of time zones, but it's it's okay. it's five it's, it's five thirty. It's, it's five forty for us early. East Coasters. It's super early. Well, if you eat dinner this early, his you're gonna have to eat dinner at six. Like, Dude, who makes a dinner res at six, bro? You're gonna, Nick's gonna want to eat another meal at nine o'clock at night. Well, you're also talking about a guy who doesn't eat until dinner, and then has like three meals after dinner before he goes to bed. Like, I don't understand the way the way he eats. He he just he doesn't eat all day and then eats a million calories before bed. <laughs> In like chips. Um, all right, so. You know, I haven't watched any golf. Um, have well, you? No, because it's been Wednesday and Thursday. You think I've had time to watch golf? <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't really. So okay. So for those who don't know, the the WGC Dell Match Play tournament's going on, and let's be honest, the format's fucking stupid. I mean, there we talked about this last podcast, but to recap. They're split into 16 groups of four, and then the winner of each group is then put in the bracket, and then it's just a 16-person bracket. Up until 2015, it was just a 64-person bracket like March Madness, which is way fucking cooler. Why would you ever... Why would you change that? <laughs> why would you change that? I, I have no idea. I was trying to read it before we started, but then you started this podcast... Um, but like that just kind of defeats the whole purpose of a bracket. Like you can, you can lose a, you can lose your first match and then you can still eventually win the tournament. That doesn't make sense to me. I think it's so stupid, dude. I remember we were, I was talking about that in the last podcast. Like remember in the old days where like a big upset, like 62 takes down number three or something like that. I remember actually like in my home, using like a foam golf ball and like a fake hockey stick and making a golf course around my house at like a in a bracket tournament because that's how fun it used to be like you want turn you want upsets just like March madness i don't really get the bracket aspect of that story you just told like you just play yourself yeah i would play So you're like you're like all right this jackson's number one in the world this jackson's number 64 no, 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 no 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 I don't know. I would be like, I would play Rory McIlroy versus um, whoever that dude from France was. Like, I would play all Dubisson. Rory versus Dubisson. That was, that was Bryson that lost to Dubisson. But I. Oh, no, uh, oh, no wait. Or I was thinking of a different Frenchman that Bryson lost to. That's funny because I used to do that in. You know how I, I used to have a basketball hoop in my room? And um, I used to play, like, whenever March would have their brackets, I'd play every single one. And like make I'd fill out my own bracket on who won me versus me team versus team. You I do the same with golf. It was so fun, dude. Can't do that anymore. I'm not out here trying to play group play like it's a World Cup or something. Like, nah. You are like the epitome of an only child. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, know what epitome all your means, sto- but <laughs> all your stories, it's just it's like exactly what you would expect an only child to do. You're having these imaginary competitions with yourself. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's amazing that you had friends growing up sean you're forgetting about how many majors i won in my backyard i mean you're forgetting about how many how many masters specifically i won over you <laughs> <laughs> once we became friends <laughs> you know what let's let's just tell that story since we're on the topic <laughs> so you know freshman year of high school uh jackson and i go way back in case you didn't know you know, Jackson. Let's, let's just tell it. Let's tell it. Yeah, let's. There's let's, no Nick. We got a short pod, anyways. Jackson, I remember it clearly. <laughs> so Jackson and I, we be, we became friends freshman year because we were two of the freshmen on the golf team, 
you know, he was this shy little little quiet kid. Like uh, I was I was I was a big boy, much more outspoken. Yeah, very outspoken. <laughs> For better or for worse. <laughs> and for some reason, for some reason that just meshed well, you know, we, we, we're, we're good friends. We used to, we used to play a lot of golf, just us two, um, which sounds kind of sad. Yeah, I thought, yeah, but. But because, because, <laughs> but it wasn't. It was, because it was just us two, we ended up in situations where we were waiting a lot at the, at the local public course that we played. And so we created these things called master's moments <laughs> to oh, yeah. pass the time, which <laughs> it's such a <laughs> stupid fucking name. <laughs> it's not like we were recreating moments from the masters. It was just like us, like we, what we would do is I'm a lefty Jackson's a righty. We'd switch putters, <laughs> pick a spot, <laughs> just pick a spot near or on the green <laughs> and play in. And just be like, all right, this this hole's for the Masters. <laughs> I do a Nick Faldo impression. <laughs> yeah, you did the shittiest Faldo impression ever. <laughs> I I want to see if you've still got the Faldo impression in the in the in the arsenal. Dude, all right, I'll let me pull up a clip of him talking. You also used to, you also do, used to do Faraday quite a bit. Yeah, I love doing Faraday. Oh man. <laughs> Cause I hate those two people. Like, oh man. Yeah, I I just remember. I mean, to to the outside person, we probably looked so weird doing these weird, weird, like shitty impressions. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. uh, let's see just, which one should we do? I think it's really important. Let's Bryce and <laughs> Yeah, but um, so Jackson and I are both. Many time Masters champions. Uh, People don't know. People. I don't believe know. I. I believe I probably won a few more. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, just pure athleticism and talent back then. And we're we're still just wait, waiting on Jackson's Jackson's follow impression here. Dude, it's really hard to just find like a clip of Nick Faldo. <laughs> This is this is unbelievable content for the podcast. But became the European tool. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, imagine Jackson doing that loudly and worse. That public golf course. <laughs> Sean O'Grady's got a pot here. <laughs> you know what? That's exactly what how you used to say it, but but your voice was so high too. <laughs> <laughs> that is fun man I, old orchard masters moments people forget old orchard is a, a major venue and it's hosted um, hosted probably more major or probably more masters than augusta yeah exactly and we got to get this going again but it this reminded me of um this reminded me of like when i met you like it was like the summer we're playing. What were those even called? Where we'd play Con- like with the contact coach? days. Contact you days. You're gonna meet the coaches, meet the team. Yeah. So we were playing. I don't know who else it was, but it was you, me, and Newbauer. I, I remember that. I remember that vividly. Like I, I <laughs> was it just us <laughs> and one of the coaches. Like I remember getting the quesadillas out after. Out obviously, I think we've okay. said that on the pod. Yeah. So let's let's go back <laughs> to this story because it's been a long time since we've told this. So you know, Jackson rolls up. Uh, I think he, I think you were a little late that day. I think he joined on like the second hole or something. Makes sense. Yeah. And you know, he's a tiny kid. He's got a kid's set of clubs still. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck are we dealing with here? <laughs> and I don't really remember the round too much. I, yeah. I don't feel like we talked a whole lot. Yeah. Um, but after the round, we're waiting for our rides because you know we're we're 14 year old kids. We can't drive. <laughs> And there's there's a wedding reception going on inside, <laughs> and Jackson just walks inside to the table of food and grabs a couple of quesadillas, yes, and he sir. walks back out. He's holding these quesadillas. I'm like I'm like, where did you get those? He just goes inside. I'm like, are they free? He goes, I don't know. <laughs> I I feel like those quesadillas had to have slapped as well. Like they they looked 
they look delicious. I, I don't even remember if I went and got a quesadilla. <laughs> It's funny, man. Some things just don't change. I mean, just That's an beautiful. unbelievable first impression. That's... <laughs> oh man, I gotta. We gotta think of more like old orchard story, more like throwback stories. Because Nick, for those of you who started listening to us recently, Nick didn't join us till like what was it, end of sophomore year, so junior yeah. year season. So we only played two seasons with Nick, and like the last season with Nick was kind of like dramatic. So. Oh, we only God. got like one good season with Nick. <laughs> well, that was that was when Fat Nick was still around. Fat I have Nick. so many pictures of Fat Nick; it's unbelievable. I really want to post that hot dog one on the pod page. That is the most iconic photo of Nick that will ever exist. I think I should, but I need confirmation. I know he wants it; he'd he'd be totally fine with it. But I should ask him before. Yeah, the only other like old orchard story I can specifically think of. Is just like before every practice, we used to go get fries. Hey. And like for some reason, this golf course had the best fries. And the woman who like owned the restaurant portion, she like got to know us pretty well. And there was like one specific worker who would only charge us like a dollar every time. We'd get like fries, a drink, like whatever <laughs> else. And she'd just be like, all right, one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was the best. She was the best. She was always there, too, because I remember, like, you know, if we're playing, like, 18, you get to the turn, and you're like, oh, shit, I hope she's still there. Like, I hope she's still in there. She's always in there, ready for us. She's so... I remember, uh, to add on, I remember when, like, Matt... I forget, we were probably freshmen in college. We played golf with Denny, and he got a beer, and it was just funny because she's known us for the last four years, and he's using a fake from, like, Pennsylvania. Like <laughs> <laughs> she, she knew that we were in high school a year ago. She knew that he was from <laughs> Illinois. I mean, that girl was just the ultimate homie. And we're talking, like, a 6'3 albino dude as well. Like, very familiar. Like, this is not somebody you, you'd forget. So No, one of the least forgettable human beings <laughs> And uh, our OG podcast listeners probably recognize the name Denny. Uh, we'll have to get him on. I still have a Snapchat streak with Denny. <laughs> I haven't spoken to him I'll in a long time. Didn't we play with him like two years ago? Yeah, but that's just that's just how our relationship with Denny is at this point. We play golf once every True. other year, and <laughs> that's about it. True. True friendships are in the heart, man. So... Yeah, so I, I guess really... we got on this long tangent just by talking about you being an only child uh, and how you love creating these <laughs> hypothetical situations that ended up ended up bringing us closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for our uh, YouTube subscribers, working on renovations, um, it actually is going to be sick. It the course. Sick. Yeah, the course will be sick. Oh, I guess need to plant it's... some trees. Some rough, it's unfortunate. But, uh, it's unfortunate that I won't be there to experience the course this summer. You don't think you'll be in Chicago like once the whole summer? Well, I have a couple weeks where I'm back, but yeah, okay. We'll right. we'll debate that off the podcast. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. our listeners I don't, don't really know about my schedule and living arrangements. <laughs> I, don't really... <laughs> I don't really know how to segue from uh, from. Well, that. let's talk about the. We've already started talking about the match play. Uh, I know on our last podcast we talked about everyone making a bracket, and. Nick and I held up our ends, uh, but but Jackson, what 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 uh what happened there? Hey man, I forgot golf was on Wednesday as well, but I would say either way, I probably wouldn't have made a bracket because I didn't remember today either. Um, so I don't know, man. I uh I go I got Loyola, like I go to Loyola, so I'm more focused on the March Madness bracket. But I mean, Rory McIlroy will probably win this week because he's gonna win today. Um, I don't Rory even know lost. how to pick a winner, dude. Rory lost yesterday, dude. So? Yeah, I mean, I don't even think... So, I picked Webb Simpson just because I wanted to differentiate myself from the other brackets. <laughs> and I figured not a lot of people are going to pick Webb. And you know what? Webb, might, Webb might, <laughs> might not make it out of the group. <laughs> so, and then I have my runner-up as Matthew Fitzpatrick. I don't think he's making it out of his group uh... either. <laughs> Can never gamble on Fitzy. Wow. You know what? I was all about the differentiation strategy. My uh, third place match is Tony Finau and Cam Smith. Wow. Okay. 
I yeah, I I really tried to really tried to be different, and I just don't think it's gonna pay off for me. I have a uh, I have a fun question actually. Who has who, who has a better finish at Augusta this year, Spieth or Cam Smith? Well, you're talking about guy, about a guy that finished runner up there last year. <laughs> But Spieth does have positive strokes gained approach in 20 of his last 22 competitive rounds. And, and you know tracker. what? That's, that's a massive thing at Augusta. He doesn't really need the driver to be that dialed in. I'm yeah. going to say top five for Spieth. Oh, I love it. If, if not top a win. Time. I'm, I'm going to give him. I'm, I'm, I'm giving it to Spieth. Spieth. Yeah, I think Spieth top fives it. Smith probably top times it. That's kind of what I was thinking, too. Sp- Speed top threes at Smith top fives at something like that. Yeah, Cam Smith is playing some great golf right now, and he is my favorite golfer. He's the swaggiest guy on tour. He's so cool. Just you, you gotta think Speed's gonna gonna do well this year. Yeah, is he in? Is he playing right now? Yeah, he won yesterday. Ooh, and he he tied Matthew Wolf today. Good work. So God, he he oh. Spieth was two up through 16, oh. lost 17 and 18 to tie the match. Oh, my God, dude. You know what? But if uh, if Spieth wins tomorrow, he will likely move on. So that's what's big, important. Big, big day for Jordan tomorrow. Dude, I don't even know what I'm looking at whenever I pull up this bracket or leaderboard. Like, I don't know how you're confused. I just like, I just struggle to care about these, these groups of four right now. Like other than my bracket, like I think the I think the actual sixteen person bracket's going to be kind of fun this weekend. Like yeah, I'm excited definitely. to watch that. Yeah, because yeah. I think I think from a coverage standpoint, like obviously there are going to be a lot of commercials, but <laughs> since there are so few groups on the course, like you're going to get to hear a lot of player caddy conversations. I think that'll be fun, and there actually is the winner go home aspect. Yeah, that's just missing from these from this group play. Yeah. Also, I haven't checked what Bryson is doing today. Bryson did lose yesterday to Antoine Rosner, who Dude. I've never even heard of. Yeah, who is that? Oh, Bryson won. See, will Kim. Yeah, um, but but you know what? If if Fleetwood wins tomorrow, Fleetwood Fleetwood takes it. So. So. Wait, who's in that Corey Connors fits? If Corey Connors is 0 2 and Fitz is 1 and 1, who's the guy who's coming out of that? Uh it depends. So if if Speeth it's between Speeth and oh. Matthew Wolf. They're both 1 0 and 1. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. JT down 0 2. Bye bye. Man, I feel like I had JT. Where did I have JT in my bracket? Dude, Fleetwood with an easy win over Antoine Rosner. Oof. Oh, Lee had, Westy. You know what? I had Justin Thomas getting bounced first round anyways. So, okay. But I had him losing to Fitzpatrick, who's not going to make it out. Mackenzie Hughes, 4-3 and three over Webby. I love that, actually. That's sweet. Yeah. It's Victor just it's struggling. just such... It's so disappointing in this bracket that, like... There's a chance your 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 top four guys don't even make it out of their groups, and then you're then you're fucked. Then it ruins this whole bracket concept. So, although I didn't do the bracket, I'm gonna give my picks. <laughs> yeah, that's just not fair. <laughs> well, you should have waited. I'm gonna go with my pick is gonna be Kevin Kisner, and then my backup's gonna be um, Patrick Cantley. But then as my sleeper. I'm in between, or not as my sleeper, but as like just like for fun, for Telly and Mackenzie Hughes, like low key playing good golf right now. Mackenzie, people to watch out for. I mean, that's the fun Ian thing about Bolter, that's that's too. the fun thing about match play. Any anyone can win. It's a lot different than the the stroke play we usually see on tour. And I feel like Kisner is a great match play player because he can putt so fucking well. Yeah. So do they play two tomorrow? No, tomorrow they just play one round, then it's two Saturday, two Sunday. All right. So so like in so it's Rory, Lanto, Cameron Smith, and Ian Poulter, right? So Yeah, I get it. Poulter's gonna win that. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Does anyone wanna see Poulter win it? <laughs> I didn't even realize that Poulter's still top sixty four in the world. 
Yeah, and he's three up through 11 on Smith. He's going to go two up. He's going to win that. Hey. Unless... No, he's he's four up through 12. Oh. <laughs> Even better. Yeah, it's it's going to be it's going to be tricky for uh Actually, I don't know how they Oh, I guess I guess the tiebreaker is just the individual match between the two. Oh. Okay. So yeah. Rory's so Oh, man. Yeah, cuz even if even if Rory wins today, wins tomorrow, he lost to Poulter. So I mm-hmm. guess Poulter Poulter beats him out. That's that's tricky, man. Poulter might rest tomorrow. So I think I think what you need is you need it you need Cameron Smith to somehow it. somehow get this down to a tie. Yeah. If anybody can do it, it might be Cam Smith. Wait, did I say he was four up through twelve? Yeah. It just changed it. Now it says three up. Oh sweet. All right. I don't know. PJ Tour app is fucked as always. But you know, I I I am looking forward to the weekend. I, I think I will actually watch golf this weekend. Definitely, yeah. It'll definitely be more fun. Um, I guess you got to just get through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I guess it is kind of nice because you can kind of just sit back, relax, see who's doing what, and then get ready for. So it's like they'll do the Sweet 16 and Elite 8 on Saturday and then Final Four and Championship Sunday. And the third place match on Sunday. You and the third can't, place can't for, match. Can't forget which, about the big third place match. Which, as we mentioned, will probably stretch longer than the... <laughs> I, I hope it does. I think that'd be hilarious <laughs> if like, there's a champion crowned and people are still battling it out for third place. <laughs> and they're still covering it. Like That's just sad as fuck. Yeah, they're like... They go to the winner like, oh, we've got to wait to do your post, post-round cr- <laughs> presser. We're... Uh, we're watching yeah, these guys still... battle it out for third. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I hope that happens so much. Man. I feel like at that point, if I if I were like down in that match, I would just be like, "All right, I concede the match. Like, yeah, let's, exactly. let's <laughs> fucking go. I'll take my fourth place check I'll and take... move the fuck on." <laughs> That'd be awesome if whoever's battling for third and fourth, the guy, one of them's just like, "I, right, dude, I don't care. Give me fourth, Gigi." What if? They're just like halfsies. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if they tied it? Would they just continue Extra to go the playoff hole? <laughs> Could you imagine? If what, if the third, what if the third? What if the third place match goes like twenty-five holes? <laughs> <laughs> they gotta finish it tomorrow. They gotta finish it on Monday. <laughs> what? They they both start trying to make bogeys. They're like, "Fuck this! I want to lose." <laughs> this is uh yeah all right. This will shape up to be a good weekend, and then we got Valero. Nice little relaxer. And then Augusta, baby. We got Augusta. We got your birthday. We got tax day. Ooh, yeah, fun little I, April. We got 420. Ooh. Augusta, two weeks from today. Yeah. So that means my birthday, awesome. like two weeks and five days from today. Two weeks and five. When you think about it like that, it's actually kind of far. 19 days. Yeah. Damn. Wait. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I <laughs> fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's I think it's eighteen. Uh, um, all right. Well, I have nothing else to add. Yeah. Um. I mean, this was a, this was a brief podcast, but that was kind of our it's plan, Nick, given, yeah. given that it was a two person podcast. We hope you enjoyed the uh, the stories about high school. Yeah. Uh, let us know. We'll do more. High school is an interesting time for us, so we we have plenty to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, let us know if you want more of those. OGs can DM us, Golf Ball and Golf Ball and Pod. And uh, we'll see you guys Sunday or Monday, probably Monday, for the uh, the recap video with Nick and Sean. And you know what? Leave us a rating and a review if, if you would be so kind. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Peace. All right. Cheers.